Alright, alright. So this guy plays... I was really hoping for Zelda, but I guess I'll settle for some good old Sheik Um... Alright. Yeah, Jude's combo game... Error's combo game is pretty nasty. If I do say so myself. Rockin' the Calm Tag. Uh, a relic of history at this point. Wow, nice pivot. I don't know if it was just flashy, but it looked really nice. Oh, pretty decent ledge dash. That pivot F smash is dirty. You gotta do that to get the tipper, and that'll kill Sheik at a humble 100%. Of course, he can opt attack it, but he did not. No, all right. He got lucky that he got hit out. And yeah, this is a lot of what you're gonna see in Sheik Marth. Uh, the Mars punish game is gonna be based off juggling, and the Sheik's punish game will be based off how they get the grab. That's pretty much it. I mean, Marth also mostly just kind of looks for the grab, but uh, straight aerials work too. And then she can kind of go for tilts and CC stuff when Marth is at like 80 or 90. Uh, one big notable thing about this matchup that makes it so rough for Marth. Wow! Dude is crazy. That down smash, I believe it's like a strong... Thank you, Justin, for the follow. I strongly appreciate it. Um, yeah, Marth's down smash, tipper. I believe it's about as strong as Fox's up smash. So if you can get that on Sheik, especially because one of the persistent problems about this matchup is that she can kind of live a long time because she can Oms attack Mars uh, edge guards for like a long time. And Mars tipper down smash cannot be Oms attack. So really good kill option in the match if you can get it. And yeah, Jude is finding all these tippers. Killing is not a problem for him at the moment. Appleseed, thank you for the follow. And what's up, bird girlfriend? How's it going? Wow. Dude's dash dance, quite impressive here. Ooh, I like that wave land. Oh, he tries to go for it again. It wouldn't have killed, but you definitely get style points for hitting that multiple times a set. Charge the up smash. Both could help you mix up ops attack timing and just, of course, launches them further. So, pretty good stuff. Impressive first game from Jude. And, uh... Ooh. Alright, Araya going Jigglypuff. Uh, Jude is extremely, uh, versed, well-versed in this matchup. So, yeah. He does dirty stuff, like the chain grab. <laughs> his grab game on Puff is pretty nasty from what I've seen of, like, his one million sets for Smithy. And yeah, there it is. Jude really good at pivoting. Uh, so that's gonna give him a really quick early lead. Yeah, uh, at this point, if I'm the puff, I would definitely be fishing for like tomahawk up tilts and stuff of that nature. Ooh, a juicy pound is also like the next best thing you can possibly get. Uh, because it can be really frustrating to play. Either character is obnoxious with the lead in this matchup, but obviously Puff is more obnoxious with the lead because she has rest to like equalize it at any point. Ooh, nice recovery. You gotta know when to time up, uh, when to mix up the early up Bs for when Puff is gonna jump out there and try to be aggressive with it. And yeah, Jude's pivot tippers this entire set are just extremely impressive. I don't know what to say other than that. Yeah, and you gotta grab the ledge there, or at least like delay the ledge grab. Puff doesn't have an invincible refresh as far as I know. Uh, it's possible that Puff can hack stash uh, to edge guard Marth, but I don't know if Puff's, is, Puff's hack stash is invincible, like Falcon's for example. Ooh, this is a ledge dash I guess, or like a ledge hop air dodge. And yeah, Jude sitting pretty with a fat lead. There. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, I guess that's another thing Puff wants to look for. Uh, the thing is, at the super top level, you don't see it as much anymore. You do still see it, occasionally, but Mars have gotten really good at doing the dash grab uh, in order to grab Puff's crouch. So where the meta used to be, just Puff's like crouching and then resting Marth repeatedly for trying to grab her, now she's kind of in a danger zone every time she's on the ground, which is like a big deal in terms of like recent innovations in this matchup. Most notably popularized by QPU. 
And yeah, that pivot tipper gonna finish it. Jude was just killing off every grab at like 80, 70, whatever. 